sure that this works. I had a really rough night, uh, but despite everything, it was a good night. Um, how can I say? I had a, such a pain in in the rear of my head here, in this area here. That, hey, I thought that I'm gonna start. That is going to be tears that are going to come out of me. This is how painful this is. Uh, it's been like this already since 2017, 2018, when I filed for political asylum in Poland. Uh, once I came to Poland, this shit simply exploded, man. It was uh, all kinds of dark scenarios, stupid shit came to my mind, the brainwash they did on me during so-called MK Ultra in this um, Grotniki province next to Zgirsh, next to Luj. That's where they had this asylum center. And um, it was all kinds of insane stuff. They, they, they uh, they pushed down my throat. I did not understand nothing about what went on. I just did not know how long this shit is going to go go for. Uh, and I just wanted to have this stopped as fast as possible. And it was not too long ago when I have written on the blog the issue of hypertension. Um... Now, I, I think that this was overall for me a really good experience today since I suffered already, you know, uh, for so long with this and there would be no hospital in Poland nor in Slovenia, which they all knew and were directly involved in it. Uh, and they would just pretend, they would just like act stupid. When I would, when I came to Poland to the hospital and they rather talk to me about the lymph nodes and all kinds of issues like this that I suffered from. But the worst thing was that I could not get more than four hours of sleep um it was just i was just dried out completely uh didn't know how to um what to do with this stuff went to the hospital in Zgirsh in poland and you know what they told me this got something to do with the lymph nodes possibly not even a physician told me anything. I went to the x-ray and I did some x-ray head. I assumed that it was a tumor because they also brainwashed me with a theory of am I having tumor and stuff like that. They suggested that during MK Ultra, they would just uh, drill me right here in the back, uh, make a hole through uh, to release uh, all the... Uh, water that collects in there, you know, whatever, pus, whatever, um, therefore in a brain area. Well, uh, the thing is interesting that when I went to examination here in Novo Mesto, um, and I complained to them about this issue, uh, and they would just not want to pay attention to even that what I'm about to tell you next, exactly what they have done to this issue uh, related to hypertension. Um, find it really difficult to believe that uh, we have people like this in society with doctoral degrees and uh, with police badges, and we have this, this is what we have going on, basically. Um, physicians who checked me, a male guy even stated me, 
uh, it's good for me when you're gonna come walking and I had no fucking idea what they were talking about and the reasons for my knowing also I will explain to you were quite a few to go straight to the issue what exactly they have done to me what they have done to me is in 19 in 1995, I assume 95, um, they used, uh, talking about the neighbor here, Dr. Igor Kotar, they used a needles to surgically, literally repeatedly stab me in this area here. Hmm. Where exactly? Oh, I do not know. But it seems like they did enough damage and for what I was told by Russians in in Moscow they told me when you create this kind of injury you just you just need to, to repeat this once uh, maximum three times and it's done and when you when you're released from MK Ultra all through during MK Ultra it becomes a pain that is totally unbearable um, you don't absolutely feel anything. I did go out there, make push-ups, exercise, and walk in the sun, and do all the physical activities normally. That means that the only time when this stuff is triggered, when a body is, in my opinion, so producing a blood clots. And now we go to the issue for which I think it was the same thing done with my left foot, uh, I am not sure whether they really accomplished all that stuff by just uh, stepping, jumping on my left foot during MK Ultra, and it's something they were doing already in the school since the first grade. Uh, I think that they have used exactly the same kind of method. I think they used the needles to go into an area that is sensitive that would have impact on certain issues such as you know problem I have in the center of the left foot and or in the rear head so what they did was with the needles they repeatedly puncture me uh, in the rear and it would make absolutely once I uh, I left back into release me each time from MK Ultra. It did not make any difference for me until 2017. Uh, beginning the 2017, it, this shit became uncontrollable. Every time they activated this stuff, I think through the liver, through the li kidney poisoning, or through, I told you, they were playing also with the teeth and uh, suggested me that they always take the root channels teeth that are connected to different parts of the body and would produce uh, all kinds of symptoms. The truth about this case is it's impossible to measure the blood pressure. Uh, the blood pressure, if I go to measure one, it's not going to indicate a real problem. The real problem, however, during NK Ultra always was such that I would have tears coming out of me. Pain was uh, so excruciating in the back that they were using uh, ice packs. They would use ice and they would back up. And with the ice, they deflated, I guess, the injury. I don't believe that you can deflate blood clots uh, I think that if you have a blood clots, that's not going to demonstrate in the rest of the body where you go and you measure your blood pressure issues. And the blood clots are actually created through a repeated stabbing needles in a certain parts of the body. And so every time when they poisoned, they would just... Um, activate these dots that they previously... Uh, caused uh, physical injury to it. Uh, Dr. Igor Kotar in 2000, because apparently uh, this hypertension went completely out of hand, they always measured this stuff, whichever way they did this stuff. 
uh, insisted me, not insisted me, but started to protest to uh, the police officers were shocked. They were like in a panic mode all of a sudden, like what the fuck is happening, this and that. And it was Igor Kotar who started this ritual, who stated, we'll never forget his words, I don't give a shit, I don't mind if he is dead, if he dies. Hopefully that he will drop dead. It's just that I don't want him to drop dead during this procedure that we have him in hands, in our hands, because it's going to look like a murder. That's a neighbor, Dr. Igor Kotar, who also was involved in stabbing in my uh, left arm area, left arm and underarm lymph nodes, and probably more. So I thought that this would be like a really good video. Uh, what's happening? Uh, you're going to say you're insane. Uh, today is um, December 19, 2023. Now, the thing is that this stuff uh, was so excruciating during MK Ultra because MK Ultra is a torture. This is a, this is a bestiality. Uh, it's it's a killing. It's not torture. It's a killing. The, uh, torture is completely inappropriate. This is a systematic murder. Uh, through the most sadistic, longest possible suffering of an individual, uh, which is along the way even labeled as mentally ill, so, you know, he cannot stand up against the violence in absolutely any way. Um, you can't go even to the physicians, to the doctors to ask for uh, assistance and stuff like this through via psychiatry and so on. Um, during this bestialities, they performed me. And they had me drugged up. It, I already explained. It was so unpleasant, so painful. It, the only thing you happens it happens during MK Ultra is you basically live for the moment that you will see some beautiful lady somewhere something interesting, something nice, so you can steer your brain away out of, like, total depression, basically. Probably it's undescribable depression that uh, I suffered during MK Ultra, the agony that I suffered, the pain, the suffering that I was subjected to, also heart-wise, lymph nodes-wise. Uh, that you actually learn to block the memory on a painful issues. I needed a very, very long time, barely this morning early, I came up after so many blocks that I did and all this stuff to the certain memories, their prices I'm going to put also in the next video in respect to British royals, how they did this stuff. Uh, but my God, it took me no less than seven years to collect myself, to liberate, to free myself enough to get out and actually touch the issues that are so, so painful, so tormentive they did on me. Um, because my brain during MK Ultra simply learned to block. I'm not going to say unpleasant, but pain and suffering. And it was expected from me. Uh, the Britons, what they do is, um, with the Russians, they, they, they did it in a such a way that they, they do it in a such a way that they always proving you everything. They're always proving you about everything you do is wrong during MK Ultra. Uh, in real life, they put you on a, a, a forced unemployment list and. Uh, do worse stuff than that, uh, but during MK Ultra, it's all about what they want, basically contesting one another, proving one another, um, so that the person would not collect his brain, his mind enough to finish the complaint and submit complaint, tell the world basically about what went on. Yeah. So 
I know exactly what it is. This issue that they have done to me, this issue cannot be measured absolutely under any circumstances with a blood pressure meter. It's a, such a severe issue that um, if I was a lady or if I was uh, like a mentally weak person, you would see me right now crying. You would see the tears pouring out of my ears. Uh, they used 1,000, I'm not exaggerated, ice packs during an MK Ultra bestiality they performed on me during the sleep and stuff like that. They would put me that stuff under my head and had me turn around, actually. And then they would use some kind of medication, whatever they were using, some kind of reliever, uh, just to relieve me enough for me not to suffer deadly casualty, basically. I just confronted my mother about this issue, and my mother is like this. She looked at me like I am insane. In one way, what she does is she looks like she looked at it in my face always religiously. Like she's looking in the face like you are insane. And also tells you're insane. Uh, and on the other hand, on other occasions, she's using an expression. What do you care if a dead goat is moving his tail? She repeats me this like basically, fuck you, drop dead and die. This is my mama, basically. She's using two things. One is like, you're fucking insane. What are you talking about? Then is that other issue. It's like, fuck you, drop that. And that's it. And the third issue she's using, she is using all kinds of issues that were involved in MK Ultra, which supposedly would remind me of what is and what is not healthy. Uh, and here we're talking about the chocolates, uh, chips, uh, walnuts, uh, issues basically that are due to stress, due to depression I suffered, due to issues that they have done to me, um, due to ongoingly she delivered the food home basically and advertised this food that I would not go and buy inside of the stores. Well, I barely waited. I come from the Poland, so I don't have to eat junk food anymore. But once I came out of the Poland, she bombarded with these issues, you know. Uh, and I found myself in an ocean of all kinds of theories, lies, uh, plots, directed energy weapons. This was the directed energy weapon. All the time they claimed me that, that that's how they would blood pressure going to kill you. We use the EMF and even nuclear radiation, which is actually really impossible. I'm not going to say it's impossible <clears throat> to raise the all kinds of theories that I, thanks God, refuse to read on the internet, but I did go and read uh, three, four articles on the internet in, I don't know, 2017 2018 about directed energy weapons and stuff like that uh and it's everywhere they list it's a, it's a, it, what it does it's a hypertension and that the victim get killed and so on and so forth uh that's all bullshit i have explained to you exactly what they're doing they're doing this physically they use needles and what they do is they cause repeatedly wounds or they i should say create wound that is chronic uh, enough so that would not go away as soon as you suffer uh, eat bad food or something like that <clears throat> and you eat the improper food and basically nobody knows how to where it is and then you have this theory about directed energy weapons directed energy weapons <clears throat> based on what i see the theory is completely indifferent from the COVID. I have COVID now. Uh, COVID also was a subject, the MK Ultra subject. This was also the subject that it was something that they had. They discussed about the COVID virus already during MK Ultra, probably in 
beginning the 98 is when they started to discuss the future uh, possibility of using virus they had all kinds of games in Luoch in Poland about it was like total I'm not gonna say paranoia but yeah paranoia people were preparing themselves uh, they did not know what is coming they got information firsthand about <clears throat> that Illuminati says you refer to this so-called world leaders uh, are preparing something like this uh, obviously to fortify their political um, authoritarian political uh, you know standings within the society you know, we sleep of course during the last 50 years we again slipped into a total um, totally dicta dictatorship total dictatorial uh, world basically world of dict dictators and authoritarians and so on you can see that uh, you can see basically what's happening <clears throat> I don't mean in this case Xi Jinping I would say that Xi Jinping is who participated way before he became president it's actually not a bad thing he is just there is other people that do this stuff uh, just like in United States you have people politicians <laughs> Joe Biden's Obama's uh, Donald Trump's that participated in this non-governmental workers way before they became a president way before they were assigned any kind of government titles and so on and so you have this kind of people uh, when it comes to Xi Jinping I would say that he is actually even trying to slow down this what we witness let's say phenomena of Brexit and war in Ukraine and stuff like that that is picking up throughout the world with you know different mind that uh, so much different as to what we have witnessed 80 years ago so that's all I'm gonna say I'm gonna demonstrate you basically what exactly they have done like I'm gonna go and um, try to be as precise as possible And that's a picture that's quite perfect for me uh, for me to use this is a classic hypertension issue but this hypertension issue was developed through the blood clots I am going to use this here basically uh, to demonstrate what exactly where exactly we are at um, maybe even this here I deliberately did not go through any kind of uh, materials anything like this that I would that would have any kind of impact on me because if I did have I don't think that I would be capable to uh, to talk to you about these issues the way I do basically frank honest way exactly to what I have witnessed myself went on um, here when uh, is what is affected uh, what I think it's a blood clots actually it's this area here this here this um, they I had since I was a child uh, since I was a child since I was a baby I always had like a bump here like uh, let me demonstrate you this issue since I was a baby it's nothing wrong it was examined by a lot of physicians and it was established that this is not dangerous in absolutely any way but it is a bump like this and once the police learned about this bump it's a small thing actually size of the let's say uh, 
I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna save. You know, how do you go this little tiny little crystal balls that uh, for the children that play with it with these crystal balls? Uh, it hurts me like a hell. I mean, just as I stated, if I was not as mentally present as strong, and I would be crying right now, literally. Okay, it's about the size of what you see here. The child is holding this stuff, but it was always, always present. And it was the police that they examined based on anything that was unusual on the body since the childhood, you know? And that's what this Igor Kotar, the neighbor here, physician, uh, what's, what they do is, as soon as they see something like this, basically that's exactly where they take on. They asked, actually, they interrogated me, police interrogated me and asked me if there is something. British royals, in fact, did. Prince Andrew, uh, Prince Charles were asking me if there's like something on my body that I would want to have removed, basically something that bothers me or anything like this. And I really had nothing that would bother me. I was comfortable with absolutely everything I had. And But they drilled in me so long that I would mention them that I do have this kind of issue. Uh, and they give you examples. They tell you, uh, you know, everybody has something like this and so on. Everybody has something that would want to have it. Uh, I am sure that you also have something like this. You know? They brainwash, uh, they prepare a person to, uh, to totally... Settle for uh, for the lies uh, till you actually get you you actually give them approval. You know, I feel like I gave them approval actually when I told them, "Oh yeah, th this is what bothers me." You know, uh, and what I wanted to do an opportunity, I wanted to know how dangerous is this stuff that I have, if it's dangerous or something like that, and they investigated. The physicians investigated, they came, this is just the way it is my head. This is just no danger, nothing whatsoever, right? So then the next thing you see, they have me uh, inside of the hospital, Novomesto, and I believe they took upon, this is something that Slovenian police investigator uh, stated me, uh, you will actually have to tell what they have done to you for you to receive assistance. Otherwise, uh, it will not work. Obviously, something that goes down the spine or whatever, uh, blood vessel, whatever it is, and does have effect on it, uh, you puncture it so many times that you make this stuff chronical, and then what you do is you fortify the injury through the kidney, through the liver poisoning, till, till once become permanent during the poisoning. The poisoning at one point grows into a greater and greater danger, um, and it's that last poisoning they do, I think, that grows into basically a death sentence. You know, because they did it so many times during MK Ultra that it's totally questionable whether this stuff can be. Uh, even treated, even uh, reversed, treated. How the hell are you going to do this when they did the stuff like this? Probably you cannot. Uh, it's got to do with the blood, with the kidneys, with the liver. It's got to do with the hypertension, with the cholesterol issues, and foremost, I believe, with the blood clots. And blood, that's the kind of stuff that's related to uh, a food. Poisoning of intestines, colon, uh, this is what this stuff will do. So they created a lot of stuff, and I want to accent that this was a mechanical, deliberate mechanical injury. With year 2000, uh, they had a panic because it looked like it's going gonna, it's gonna to kill me, actually. They had the ability to measure the blood pressure in the back. But when you go to the hospital, they sit you in the chair 
and they just go through the hands and they take uh, the blood pressure. But if you have blood clots here in this area here, it's not going to be. You can have a completely normal, what is still considered as normal blood pressure, but it could be other issues that create here uh, a total fuck up. Basically, cholesterol explosion, God knows. God knows. Basically, anything I say about this issue, I am not professional, medical professional, and these people would simply not share information with me. It's all done based on memory. Suffering was so great, so harsh, that I did not even dare to recall about the pain and suffering during MK Ultra. When, when they started to expose me to suffering, to agony from pain, uh, I rather to thought about other things. And this is why I was looking so much forward to see some beautiful girls and uh, whatever, cars, watches, whatever might be out there, or eat food or whatever. Even if it would be my last meal, basically. This is the deadliest thing that I ever have heard for. It's a fact. It's how British do it. In this case, this, this is exactly how the British did it. So, I have a COVID. And thanks God, I'm going to say, uh, this area here exploded in pain. Uh, really, really painful. And so, you know, um, it's a good stuff. Because if this would not happen, I would keep going and keep guessing and keep seeing things. They brainwash and steal in my head. You know, when you suffer, when you suffer from agony, from pain, you will not see things like this. You will see all kinds of conspiracy theories they tell you. Like I said, on the internet, you have this directed energy weapons and... You know, that uh, it's a tumor. You know, the article they had about this guy who was also involved in MK Ultra, who was at the airport, and uh, apparently they attacked him with directed energy weapon. Uh, he lived at the airport, and then he had a tremendous size of the brain tumor. And they tell you, they made me meet these people in person, not only one, but many people like this. And then they insisted me, well... Uh, if you're not going to tell this, it's going to be too late for you. Uh, you will now know what we have, what will be done to you, etc., etc., and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Needles. Stabbing, stabbing needles. It's not acupuncture. It's not a acupuncture. It's something else. It's a stabbing with idea to cause harm, deliberate harm. Neighbor, physician Dr. Igor Kotar was the one who implemented all this stuff. So, this here, he said in 2000, I don't give a fuck, I don't mind if he dies. I hope that he dies, actually, he said. I hope that he's dead, I hope that he dies, except that I don't want him to die when we have him in our hands, because he's going to look like a murderer. This was in the year 2000. One fucking horror, but that's the way they do it, and they did in my case. I am going to go ahead and we'll take a nice date and time here. So won't be a smart ass that will tell that, uh, well, you know, he never said about any of that kind of stuff. By the way, I feel that Slovenia is a really pathetic nation. Uh, I don't feel like being part of this. Uh, it's, it's, I don't deserve to be punished. I think that they simply hate their independence. I think they hate their independence so dearly that this shit basically had to happen. So... Uh, you know, they could they could march forwards with their Yugoslav agenda, which unfortunately they became victims. Uh, they lost their homeland, I think, uh, in 91. I don't recognize Slovenian nation as a nation. This is not this is this is not how the nation any nation treats any of their members. I don't feel I'm Slovenia. I reject to be seen as a Slovenia. I'm disgusted with this. It's not a culture. It's a bestiality. 